there welcome back to our channel if you are new here then welcome so this is fill my cup and this is where I would love to share an encouraging word with you today uh, we do have seven kiddos like I say all the time uh, so we are a large family and I love to take encouraging things that the Lord gives to me and I love to share them so today I want to share about childlike faith so we all know that you know the Lord tells us in his word obviously to have childlike faith and I think that it is so powerful it is so powerful for us to actually remember that um, especially when we're going through, through certain things in our lives so I know me and Noe the other day we were sitting and chit-chatting we were on the front porch <clears throat> and we were discussing some things things that we probably had to talk about things that we just wanted to talk about for maybe the week or the day and sometimes things of course can get frustrating right so it's husband and wife discussing things you have a large family and you're trying to figure out things whether it's financial whether it's just what are you gonna do I don't know for the year what do you have coming up and decisions that just have to be made so we're sitting there discussing things and you know I'm one of those that when he is home, I want to enjoy and have a really good time. I don't want to talk about things that we have to talk about. I don't want to talk about things that, I don't know, projects that we're just not wanting to get to right away or financial situations or we need to make a decision about this or that really soon. And I'm just like, hey, you're finally home. Let's just go enjoy and have a fun time. And I know he, he tries to do it really quick too. He's like, let's just real quick talk about these things. And I'm one of those, like I said, I just want to just go have a good time and enjoy our time together. So we're sitting there and he's talking and he's sharing these things and I'm listening. I'm respectfully listening and so we can discuss it and make some decisions. But Caden, our little four-year-old little boy, had come out there with us. You know, he likes to be wherever mom and dad are. So he's sitting at the picnic table with us, but he's sitting at the very end of the table, the other end of the table. And while Noe was talking and just sharing some things and maybe just putting things out there, I glanced over at Caden and he had brought out his bucket of Legos. And he's sitting there and he's singing a song and he's building like a house, a building. He's building something. But he's just sitting there and singing and building and no care in the world. You know, no, no thoughts. It's just, you know, I'm just going to enjoy myself and just have a good time. And it, and it hit me, you know, and it was like, and I even stopped knowing and I, and I told him and I said, you know, look at, look at Caden. And he wasn't paying attention to us he was just building I was like look how he has no care in the world he has that childlike faith that if we are in the pool and daddy or mom says jump come on just jump in and we're right there he jumps he doesn't think twice he doesn't try to figure it out he doesn't sit and think mm, will mom really catch me Dad, are you really going to catch Are you sure I'm going to be okay if I jump? We said it's okay. He's going to jump. Or if we're in the parking lot and we let the kids get out and, you know, and, and we say, okay, come on, come on over here. It's time. We can cross the road. Come on. They cross. They trust what we say instantly. You know, when they're that little, they're not questioning. Oh, you, mom, are you sure I can cross right now? Maybe we should double check. Maybe we should just look again. They don't. He doesn't. At his little age, he just simply takes what we say and goes with it. And I'm and I've just thought about that. I was thinking about the course while I'm sitting there watching him and I told Noe, I said, you know, God knows every need that we have. Before we even have the need, he already knows the need is going to be there. Or what decision we need to make. The right decision, he already knows what the right decision is. So it truly is so important for us to have that childlike faith to know that we can call upon the Lord in situations or times and decision making times and say Lord this is how it is this is what's going on and obviously you already know but 
I ask, you know, the Lord, just give me peace in this or show me the direction. Uh, we know that this needs to be taken care of. We don't know how to do it or how this is going to, maybe it is a financial situation. And you're like, Lord, you already know the need that is here and we're not sure how it's going to come and how it's going to be taken care of, but we can trust and know that, that you will provide it. And so anyway, so how important it is that we focus and that we pay attention and we get prepared in knowing that we can rest, cast your cares on the Lord, right? We're supposed to cast our cares on the Lord and not have to ponder and try to figure things out. I mean, isn't that like the birds, right? We know the true with how he cares for the birds. The birds don't sit and have to sweat it out. And when's it going to rain? So the worms will come up and we can eat and feed our babies. And, and you know, when is it going to rain so we can get water? Or when is this going to happen or that? They don't. They just know that God will provide. So anyway, so watching Caden was just such such an eye opener and just I know it's that little reminder it's that like you know it's just that little reminder that God is good like that it's for us to be able to see like the Holy Spirit could really point that out to me like look look you know so whatever you're trying to figure out nothing needs to frustrate you and get you mad and get you angry frustrated or whatever the case and start arguments with any with anybody just take your time you know take your time to recognize that God does know all. He really does. But we are really just simply to cast our cares upon him and to trust and know that he is going to see us through it. He's going to show us how to get through it. The Holy Spirit will guide you. So I just encourage you. I encourage you today that one of my encouraging things in this is, is if you have children or I don't care if you have to turn on a cartoon of something, if you don't have any kids around you, uh, go or go maybe hang out with your nieces, your nephews, your grandkids, whoever to get around some children. And it is one of the greatest things. So don't even disturb them. Just walk in, just walk up and just watch them for a minute and watch how they, they just go on with life and just enjoy. They're not bombarded. They aren't heavy weighted with the world with what's going to happen with this what's going to happen with that how am I going to get through this or oh no this is going to be a rotten day I didn't know it was going to rain you know or this is ruined now you know we are supposed to do an outside party and it's raining how are we going to make this happen now what are we going to do they just don't they just they just find another avenue like like Caden if I was to tell him oh so your heart I know you got your swimsuit on to go swimming but look the storm clouds are coming and we can't get in the pool but let's go make cookies let's go make some cookies and color let's go do some you know coloring make some pretty pictures before dad gets home he's all excited and ready to go oh, okay mom all right and he gets excited now if you if you pay attention though as obviously as the kids get older now find your older children that have been tapped into the world longer and they've seen things disappoint them. They've seen things where it's like now it is it is getting frustrating because things aren't going their way. More of a selfish attitude comes in. Then that starts to shift and it only gets worse as we get older. It only gets worse, doesn't it? Because we start to see the world. We start to want things the way we want them. But if we just cast it, cast all of our cares upon the Lord, focus on him and stop caring about everything. Stop trying to think that we have to control everything and we have to make everything happen, right? But take a glimpse, just glimpse at, the, at those babies and just watch them for a minute and see how they are like, you know, no care in the world. And really, that is really how God wants us to go through this life, is to know that, oh, wow, okay, this is a big situation. Okay, this doesn't look good, maybe in the natural realm. It doesn't look the greatest. But I'm going to go to the Lord with it. I'm going to take it to the Lord. My Father knows, you know? And, and it isn't the easiest thing to do. I'm not saying it's the easiest thing to do. But isn't that, doesn't it make a lot of sense as to why God said to have childlike faith? You know, that faith that doesn't waver. They just simply take what we say as mom and dad or the adult in the situation. They take what we say. They trust it. They believe it. And and that's what they hold dear to their heart. So I trust, or I encourage you today. I encourage you today to watch little ones. Watch the little ones and their trust 
and their really their obedience in just in knowing that what we say is legit. It's it's true. They just really believe us. And um, so I just encourage you today, cast your cares, cast your cares. And when you get into those moments where you start to feel like the world is heavy, I don't know what to do. I'm stressing out or whatever the case it might be. Just stop, take a glimpse at those kiddos and recognize, wait, well, that's the way I should be. That's the way I should handle this. I'm going to cast my cares. I'm not going to let this move me or steal my joy. I'm going to move forward knowing that God knows. God knows and he's going to see me through this and he's going to show me how to get through this or he's going to provide a way and make a way. So I encourage you with this today.